Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a fun, interesting video. We take a look at the prospect rankings after the 2017 draft from an old hockey news, and then update them or just show how much sometimes these are just the hardest uh, things to write and the hardest things to do doing prospect rankings, like Brian Costello, who's a great, brilliant writer, does, because you can't always predict the way that things are going to go. Like, for example, Alexander Texier was ranked 100th after the 2017 draft. He would definitely be moved up swimmingly. Casey Middlestat was ranked 1. To put it in perspective, uh, Vaka Linen uh, was ranked ahead of Adam Fox, um, the Bruins prospect, to put it in perspective as well, who is one of the more underrated prospects that we'll get to later as I continue to do these videos. But going in order, Texier... At number 100, back after the 2017 draft, as this magazine was from November of 18, um, he definitely would move up a lot now. He's playing on one of the best fourth lines in hockey with uh, Eric Robinson, um, who has three goals, seven assists for 10 points, a uh, plus three, Corrali a plus four, a plus three for Texier. Um, Texier, obviously, is a player who... Came up, I think, quicker as a second-round pick than some would have expected and really did make an immediate impact where when he came up, he had 15 points in 49 games. Uh, he also had 22 penalty minutes. He took 75 shots. His shooting percentage was 5.3. So he wasn't shooting the puck as much as you would want in his average time on the ice being 15.50. 14.43 this year, though, his shooting percentage is all the way up to 18.8% which is what you like to see, higher than it was when he first got his uh, extended season in 1920 with 36 games when it was 12.2%. So uh, he's shooting the puck a lot more, leading to his nine goals this season, five assists, he, he has good vision, uh, 14 points to getting to that plus three rating. Uh, Texier is a guy that obviously is good on his skates as well. Uh, he's able to adjust as a player side to side well, and he's a very good skater at 6'1", uh, 180 five um or 186 excuse me pounds um so he's a guy that's just going to continue to get better only 22 years old definitely a guy that will be ranked a lot higher if you re-rank that probably honestly somewhere um once we come to the end like I said you had Casey Middlestad all the way up at one uh Texier definitely I would think would rank somewhere in the top 15 once we finish this top 100 ranking from after the top 100, and I would say probably somewhere in the top 10, potentially, with how people have developed uh, within this ranking, but Troy Terry definitely is somewhere that's definitely going to be in that top 10, but we'll get to him later, he's ranked in the 70s, but this has been the video on Alexander Texier, who was ranked from Kappa playing in Finland 100 um, back in 2018, definitely has outplayed that ranking this far and has been kicking butt since Kakalainen has picked him and has continued to kick butt whether it has been with Torch or now with Brad Larson as a bunch of people are doing good. Dan Forth, the undrafted kid, Gregory Hoffman, the guy that's played over in Switzerland for a while after getting picked, I think it was 2011 by the Carolina Hurricanes. Um, and then you have um, Sillinger, who obviously has come up and make an immediate impact. He's pushing all the right buttons. Eric Robinson, another undrafted guy that plays really well. So this team is coming together nicely, and Texier is a big part of their future that hasn't even hit his prime yet and has already been a very good blessing of a second-round pick by Kakalainen. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of the NHL season. Congratulations on having a very nice, fun, young team to watch mixed in with some veterans like the Domies of the world, the Boone Jenners, especially of the world, and Bjorkstrand, who's playing like a bat out of hell this year in Columbus. Columbus fans, peace out, everybody.